Hi, I'm Karen Muiz. I'm the owner of the Muiz Gallery and the creator of the Soldier series, A Salute to the Soul. Thought it was a good idea to let you guys into um, my process for the stop motion short uh, Soldier Toy Story. And just wanted to talk about some of the items. The whole entire um, mini series, if you may, is shot on my desk here at the gallery and um, uses a lot of things from my life, a lot of things that I actually just had lying around at home, if you can believe it or not. Um, I collect cigar boxes, I've collected them for years, and they're a really big staple here at the gallery. Um, I put everything in cigar boxes, from my paintbrushes to my paints, as you can see. I've got, everything in my home is stored in cigar boxes, and all of our jewelry comes in a specialized cigar box, so I thought it would be nice to use that as one of the props. Also, uh, the paints, these are all my paints from home. Um, don't ask me why, but I actually had a, a little canister of decorative sand, and that's what I used in the second episode, Nothing is Final, and it actually is scented. So I have this lying around in my house, and I got the idea to make little sand dunes and use these dunes as uh, props for these alphabets that I just bought on a whim, and voila, that I could use them to be a sign holder. This little guy is really special. My friend Agitha, that I went to, uh, was a classmate of mine at the Sorbonne, was from Kazakhstan, and this is before any film or anything of that nature. I was like most Americans, oblivious of anything that wasn't in North America. And so when she went home for a Christmas break, she brought me back this jewelry box, which is um, a traditional hut. And I was so fascinated by her. Her goal, um, we were at the Sorbonne studying, and her goal was to be the ambassador of Kazakhstan for France. And I'm sure she's in that position right now. I haven't Googled her yet. <laughs> but she brought me back this jewelry box that I've had for ages. And, um, and that's where I store these little miniature guys now. And these guys, my neighbor just calls them the little, the little homie people, um, are our main characters representing the civilians in um, this epic short miniseries. <laughs> and... Um, so thank you, Agatha. And these little guys are actually, I, I borrowed them from a friend. And I, I just, uh, as far as coming up with the story, I don't know where the story is heading. It's just a reflection of where I feel we are at as a country. And um, right now, I had, um, I had a nice rough draft. I knew that I was going to use the magnifying glass. and because these people are so small that I could do something with them. And um, I definitely know, knew that soldiers just had an amazing place. So I thought, you know what, I'm going to do something with hearts. And I'm going to do, I, I love hearts. Um, hearts are a big theme. At some of our exhibitions, people will receive hearts and they have to wear their hearts on, on, their, on their clothing and it's amazing. And so I actually, um, for the heart that were that was on the soldier and on the little miniature people, I actually made them out of clay. And um, and once they were magnified, it really had a great effect. The toy tanks and such was a really um, tedious process, but I just thought, you know what? Let me try doing something different. I would like to have motion. I believe I shot over 700 pictures for the very first short, which was the introduction. Um, um, it was one flag, and I had all these flags. I went around like crazy looking for these flags, and fortunately, um, I got the flags after Veterans Day, a couple of weeks after Veterans Day, so I was able to put that together. Um, the lighting is something that I've used uh, throughout the time, through, just always had on deck here at the gallery in our, in our storage space. And I shot everything with my Nikon camera, which 
is what I use when I'm actually in Paris and I'm trying to look at statues that are really, really high. I'm talking 500 feet high on top of a building that I couldn't possibly detect the detail with my human eye. I'll, I'll use my Nikon as a camera and zoom in and, and get a get more detailed description. So um, for those of you who are wondering just how I did it, that's how I did it. And I can't wait to see what I think of next. I've got a lot of great ideas, but I, I'm not going to give them away. No spoiler alert here. So uh, keep tuning in and we'll continue to keep bringing you the best in creativity as far as uh, you can see my process as it unravels in motion. Until then, like I say on my radio show, Art Speaks, keep marching.